Hey everyone, Larry Snow here with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a demo review of an application called Mention which uh, just came across my eyeballs today and the best way to explain it is Google Alerts on steroids. So let's take a look. So right off the bat um, you can see here on this page that it is available as a download for your uh, PC it's available as a standalone application totally different than Google Alerts uh, for your mobile phone, iPhone, Android and it's also available as an extension on your Chrome browser uh, which I have set up here and I have a few test things going on I, I've signed myself up for the free trial uh, there are different pricing plans there's a pro plan for 20 bucks a month and then there's I think something called the team plan for a hundred bucks a month um, but let's just go over the interface real quick um, the plus sign is where you add or create an alert uh, this will tell you the total number of mentions that I have uh, based on all of my alerts that I have going on right here uh, the number of uh, favorite mentions that I've added social accounts that I've added, uh, ones that I've trashed, any tasks, uh, which is something that you can do with this um, application is that you, I can sign up team members uh, as part of a larger group who can follow these alerts and I can assign a task that you know says well follow up with this alert or that alert so I can see this being a very useful application for uh, security teams and uh, PR firms. Um, activity feed, uh, like I said, I'm just getting into this now, so I'm not sure what activity feed does. And then there's one user, which is me. If there were multiple users in this account or people that I've added, then there would be more users available or at least listed there. So let's look at um, these of all 373 mentions here, but let's look at the specific ones. I did a test on a specific keyword match on executive protection so like that would be like a Google search with quotes around it right and uh, these are the results that I got um, all of them are unread if I were to click on the link uh, it would obviously um, remove it as unread uh, so it's sort of like an email process and then there's a priority and the way that mention prioritizes is um, because it's the site is popular I'll just take you through uh, how to create an alert real quick very very simple very similar to Google Alerts but you'll see as we progress through this uh, the step process here that you're gonna see that it's much more advanced than Google Alerts um, I've already created one for me, but I'll do it again. I'll type this in as uh, Larry S. So you give it a name, and then by default, it pops that into the keyword. So then you would want to change that to your specific keyword. Now, it also has or or not, and you can add more ors or more nots or delete them as you see fit. But I'm just going to go through this real quick. You can specify specific languages. So if you have um, um, CEOs in different countries, if you're a security firm or a PR firm with multiple uh, with um, multiple offices in multiple locations across the globe, perhaps you want to select a different language. Uh, and then you, for me, right now, just for a test, I'm going to do uh, click next step here. Now, here's something that's different uh, than Google Alerts. Now, Google Alerts will say, well, we're going to search the internet for you. But here, you can actually specify what you want um, searched for that specific keyword phrase. So I can, un I can uncheck web. Don't search the web, but search Facebook and Twitter. Uh, let's do blogs, videos, and forums, and images. Um, Google Alerts might be doing that, it might not be doing that, but here you can specify, so that's very different. They also do block sites, so let's say you have your uh, PR firm or your large company, 
and you're searching for the boss, you don't want this application to search that website because you already know all that stuff. So you don't want to get like false positives coming in. So you want to block your website um, and you can add multiple websites to block. And then there's a priority inbox. You can activate the priority filter. This filter will identify mentions coming from influential people and important sources. Um, I haven't really figured that one out yet. If uh, you know what exactly that means, then please post in the comments below. And then there's a, this anti-noise technology, which is a fancy term for what Google Alerts was doing, which is uh, they give you the option, show me everything or just show me the, the good stuff. And this is kind of like what that does here. And then uh, down the bottom here, which you cannot see, it says create my alert. And you click on that. And here's where it gets creative um, with um, very different from Google Alerts. You can actually attach your Twitter account and your Facebook account. And you can also share alerts, which is where that uh, PR firm or security team might come into play. I can share alerts with team members. So if you're in a team setting and you want to monitor your brand, your competitors, uh, the CEO, your principal, uh, whoever it is or whatever it is uh, that you're trying to monitor uh, and you have a large team, you might want to use this function. So it's very different from Google Alerts in that regard. And this is what came up with Larry Snow. I got five mentions and it's not even me. <laughs> So uh, something I might be need to be aware of for my personal brand because there's another Larry Snow out there and it looks like he's up, not up to too many good things right now. So um, on the right here it tells you exactly how it works. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun with this. I think it is a very useful tool um, mostly for PR firms, maybe some social media people. Um, so a lot of features in here. There are at the very top here, I didn't go over these. There's a quota, how close to your quota you're going to come. Um, and then there's statistics, which breaks it down on um, is, is it Twitter images or you know what source is getting the most uh, percentage of mentions. Um, you can email uh, invite uh, your friends to this, again, with that team member aspect. And then you have your settings about um, alerts and, and contact support in terms of use and all that lovely stuff that goes with settings. So I highly recommend that you guys check out Mention. It's available at mention.net. Um, so do a Google search and just type in Mention. It should be the first, second, third result in that uh, results list. So check out mention I don't think you'll be disappointed I haven't been and I'm having a lot of fun with it and I think it's a very useful tool that's it for me guys as always thanks for the likes the subscribes and the shares if you like this video click the like button below if you want to uh, get updates on these types of videos in the future click the subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye